Hey, this is Rob, man behind the camera's SG, and look, we've all been ripped off before. It's not a good feeling, and we don't like it. Now, we've been ripped off ourselves on jerseys. We bought new jerseys that were we thought were great deals. Turns out they weren't. And you know, if you go on eBay and you're looking for a new jersey, this Carson Palmer jersey I thought was steal. Forty dollars. Uh, it looks like a nice jersey, doesn't it? It's got the sewn, the back, it's stitched, the nice letters, everything. It looks like a great jersey. Truth is, SG, is this a real jersey? Unfortunately, Robert, it is not it a is real not jersey. It is not a real jersey. I had feelings when I bought it, but the truth is, it is not. The Looks jersey. can be deceiving. The pictures they take on eBay are up front or up the back. They do not zoom in on the color. If you get an eBayer that has the uh, big picture, the blown up pictures on the bottom of the description, and you look closely and it looks good, then it's probably good because those uh, sellers are confident in their product. Yeah. But this one was just a picture of the front and the back, and here are the problems you know, with this jersey. It was a bad picture. It was a, it was a, it was a dark picture. You, yeah, yeah, dark picture. Uh, Hanging look, off a closet wall. If you yeah. look at the material here, it's not good material. It fits right in with the net, and that's not what it's supposed to be like. There are three problems with this jersey that make it fake. Number one, collar. Same material as the rest of the jersey. A real collar, like this one, is actually different material. It's thicker than the rest of the jersey. Problem number two, the NFL logo. Look at this logo. It's stitched inaccurately. There are only eight stars. It's dark gray. It's just messy job. And this one is real. I want you to look at the difference. It has all the stars, light gray, just cleaner colors. Everything's better on this one. It's thicker if you feel it. And this can be hard to spot on a picture, but if you just look at the details, don't be afraid to ask the eBayer, yes. can I see a picture oh, up close? If they don't reply, then they're not confident in their product. Okay, and the final pro problem with this is uh, this low, this right here. Oh, that's okay? also very deceiving. This does not mean it's real. Just because it says product licensed NFL equipment does not mean it's real, okay guys? Now we will uh, look into Mitchell and Ness and throwback jerseys, which can also be tricks. Now uh, this Howie Long jersey is 100% authentic. We got this in a raffle. And it is at Hooters. At Hooters. Great day. And one thing that people, they'll look at these jerseys and go, it must be a great deal. And if you look at this specifically, this Mitchell and Ness, that is how you know it was real jersey. But let's just say, you know, it's not a Mitchell and Ness. It can still be a nice jersey, but... Let's see, you gotta look at the material. The material on these throwbacks are much better. The, the collar is thick, different than the rest of the jersey. And this NFL one. The NFL, okay, has throwback about 20 jerseys. Stars. Throwback jerseys do not have the authentic they do not have the equipment. equipment around it, the little shield. It just has the logo. Just look for this. Uh, they do not have any Reebok, any advertisement no, over like, here. No Reebok. Okay, that's how you know. And then also, just the quality of the stitching. It's not a two-tone stitch, as you can see with this. It's black and it's, gray. It's, it's gray on gray. This is just one. That's how the throwbacks are. Okay. And uh, lastly, we'll like to cover uh, netted oh, jerseys netted. versus stitched jerseys. I bought this jersey on Christmas Day on eBay, and this was before I started buying some jerseys. And I thought I was going to steal 40 bucks. And this jersey right here, it's not a forty dollars jersey at all. So what we're trying to say is, netted jerseys are not We're're bad. Like garbage. They're not bad jerseys, but with your money, with the economy the way it is, why not spend your money wisely and get a stitched? The beauty of a stitched is obviously it looks nicer. It jumps out. You can get it autographed. You cannot get a net uh, autograph. And here, let me show them mine. So mine is a. Bo Jackson. I got this for 40 Okay. Uh, how I knew it was good. Here, get the texture on this one. Look at that texture. Okay, how I knew it was real. First off, look at the feedback of the seller. If it's all good feedback, then it's probably good. Okay. Contact the seller. I messaged him. I said, hey, can you send me a closer picture of the jersey? He said, yeah, I'll send it to you right. That day he sent it to me. I knew it was real. Okay. And, uh... That's about it. If you have good communication with your seller, then everything's good. Write the guy a good review.
And, uh, you know, comment and subscribe to our channel. We will do more how-to videos along with our weekly updates for the Raiders. And, uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching.